having made it all the way through nearly all of the Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments to the United States Constitution. We come to Amendments 9 and 10. What do they have to say? Well, Amendment 9 says, The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. In other words, the rights of the people are not limited to those listed in the Constitution or its amendments. So just because the Bill of Rights and the Constitution and the other amendments to the United States Constitution do not say you have a particular right, the Ninth Amendment says uh, we can't list every right that United States citizens have the people still have rights that we don't list here. Amendment 10 then says, the powers not delegated to the United States, in other words, to the federal government, by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. In other words, the powers that are not given to the federal government are left to the states or to the people. And so this amendment was meant to keep the federal government under control. Your assignment for today, we have not done this sheet for a while. You had filled in pictures for the first three amendments. Conveniently, this these sets of papers remind you of what that amendment says and you need to draw a picture now this is a good review of the fourth amendment the fifth amendment this one breaks it out remember i stuck up stuck amendments five through eight together this one tells you what the sixth amendment says the main idea of the seven amend seventh amendment the main idea of the eighth amendment and then we just went over the Ninth Amendment and the Tenth Amendment. Your job today is to get pictures sketched for all the rest of them. That is your social studies assignment today. Take some time on it. Send me the photographs when you're done, please.